Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. I'm still taking advantage of a Steam Next Fest, so we're gonna try Dredge, which looks like an open world fishing game. I'm down. We'll see. Job listing Angler Wanted. Ooh, I love that art style. Almost has a, a line decker look to it. That is a uh, that is a fresh style, I gotta say. Dredging the depths. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow, I must say. Quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well. I'm glad to see our new fishermen upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you while you get your bearings in the light. I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay. So here's our boat. We've got a kind of um, Resident Evil style upgrade system. Leave. Move forward. Use uh, this, to, okay. Rotate camera, adjust height, check settings, gotcha. Let's fish. Start fishing. Okay. Uh, blue mackerel, species data added. So we've got a, um, oh, I see we've got a, we've got a place it Resident Evil style. Okay. Start fishing. So okay, we've got a we've got a fun kind of um, uh, mini game. And then we're we're filling our inventory. I'm assuming um, at a certain point we can like upgrade our I didn't mean to, to do that. We we can upgrade our our, our, um, our ship. Blue mackerel depleted. The spot has been depleted. Okay, so let's let's move on. Um, this is kind of what I expected. I do appreciate these like semi-simulator style games with maybe a, a narrative. They uh, they they just kind of do it for me, honestly. Um, I, I appreciate games with like low stakes vibes that um, you know have some kind of narrative, have some some kind of continuity. Something to say for themselves, and um, you know, I also kind I do like fishing. Can we we can rotate? So let's let's rotate. Let's Tetris these fish into our inventory. Oh, these uh, these fish are slightly more complex than the last ones. This one is depleted, so we're gonna move farther outward. I am keeping an eye on the time. I'm not sure. Um, what uh, what what the fog rolling in kind of does mechanically? So we've got more mackerels. I kind of want to let's let's try and catch something a bit more complex. I saw some sharks over here, or maybe they're tuna. Tuna are very large. People don't realize just how large tuna is. You don't have the right equipment for the spot. Okay, well there there shows the signs of li our, the limitations of our equipment. Um, I, I've got it. I don't need to know that anymore. Start fishing. I thought I was close enough, but I was not. So I'm gonna fish maybe the rest of our inventory while I have the daylight. And this 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 will not take very long. One more. 
Okay, we're good. Let's uh, get back to dock. Time only advances when you're moving. Oh, interesting. So fishing doesn't take up time. Select your lights by holding left and then toggle with X. All right. So it, it is officially nighttime, but uh, we've got we've got a full inventory, so we may as well head back. Nice auto dock feature there. You step onto the dock at Great Mirror. The mayor is w nearby waiting. Uh, you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. Your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. Oh, you're gonna Tom Nook this on us, huh? I mean, you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Our local fishmonger will appraise your and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go, then. Okay. I love the, the, like, just look of each of these characters. They've got a lot of uh, oomph to them, you know? Flies buzz haphazard, haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman. Uh, surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the old one? Eh. He uh, takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth a more or two. Other towns on other islands may pay you different, but while you are still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. Let's see what you got. Sell. Sell. Debt adjusted, so we are paying off our debt. Where is our debt? Let's just sell all the fish. Um, can we see our debt? Not sure. It doesn't seem like it. Standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could m make something of it. Collect item. You must take these items. Okay. Research part. Okay, I could put it in my storage. Our local shipwright mentioned that he might, she might be able to, to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Do walk into the yard. You see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and every, everything takes some time to install. If you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up mostly. Okay. Um, we've got some better fishing rods. Uh, they cost more money than I have. Catches shallow. Lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. A small spool makes for limited reeling speed. I'm pretty sure this is what I've already got. Maybe not. What is this good for? Coastal. Only capable of catching the smallest fish. Okay, let's uh, let's upgrade our rod then. Not sure if there's any benefit to having two rods. It takes two hours to install the, that. Um, so what do we got over here? We've got rusty uh, outboard engine. Um, cracked bulb, cloudy lens. Makes a decent effort at shining through the gloom. Okay, so we've got some upgrades. I'm sure right now we've got a very limited um, perspective on, the, on this game. Because, uh, you know... It is the demo. I, I don't know if maybe I shouldn't be um, fishing at nighttime, but whatever. Seems like, it seems to me it would be a good idea to do so. You know, trying to make the most of our time. I didn't mean to uh, back up again. 
arrow squid stock low not sure what that means depleted okay well we can see how bad the fog gets exposure to fog and other things increases your panic bright lights and sleeping will reduce it okay well all right let's head back then So what is this research? Hydraulic rod? We have one research part. Not available in demo, not available, not available, not available, not available, not available. Um, is any research available in the demo? Doesn't seem like it. So uh, we got this research part, but we can't actually do anything with it. Um, let's in So th let's move it then to our storage. Uh, ship loan remaining Repayments uh, two twenty five dollars remaining really that that little Okay, so we'll go we'll go catch some fish. I mean um, simple gameplay loop, but I'm sure things will develop in the full game catch bigger fish uh, maybe some um, Oh, what is this? I was wondering if that was something. A floaty boy, it or buoy boy, serves to mark a safe passage passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. I'm sure we'll get some more interesting uh, boat upgrades. I'm sure there uh, some kind of story will develop. You know, this is the kind of game. There's no way you're gonna build this kind of atmosphere and not have like not make use of it not have some world building they've already dropped some hints as to the idea that there might be another there, there was another fisherman that used to work for the town so um you know i, I generally don't care about storyline but um you know I'm, I'm i would be interested in 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 it in this game so i am running into um inventory problems here A little bit okay that'll do and uh, we're gonna head back I'm hoping these big fish will uh, offer us a bit more funds we remember we only take time or spend time when we're moving so having to do a trip back is kind of a blow I've had a special order come through from my customer if you can fulfill it, I'll pay you more than, um, pay you above do normal p price. Tell me about it. One gulf flounder and one gray eel. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water. Okay. Uh, one gulf flounder and I need an eel. Well, I have one flounder. Can I just like do one at a time? You can return these items later when you have everything now to regular business. Okay, yeah, so you can you can drop off one thing at a time. I, I appreciate that, actually. Sold seven fish. Ship loans remaining $11. I do wonder if we're gonna if we're gonna go all uh, Tom Nook with this and like as soon as I pay off my ship they're gonna be like, oh, that's cool. I bet you a bigger ship would be even better. Why don't you uh, consider that? Well, you'll have to take out a sizable loan, of course. So what do we got here? Coastal. I don't know what kind of fish are gonna be on offer here. Blue mackerel, and it's depleted. We're looking for an eel. Mechanic kind of reminds me of um, Potion, what is it called? Potion Brewing Simulator or something like that. Good game. Uh, used I th very much the same kind of mechanic for selling fish or selling potions, actually. I like the kind of insurgence of these types of games. They're like very low vibes and develop in a satisfying way. Satisfying progression for me is 
kind of everything. Um, you can have very mundane, simplistic mechanics, but if you have, you know, really engaging progression, I, I, I appreciate that. We have a flounder, okay, but I, I, I kind of want to find the eel. We are also running in, into nighttime, so let's head back. There seems to be something over there. Wouldn't mind checking that out. So there's maybe a little bit of exploration. Uh, have you got any fish for that order? I don't think I do, actually. So let's just sell everything. Very close to finishing the debt, the mayor walks walking uh, quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. news. Thanks partly to your effort, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming in visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities to the old dry dock is operational again. We've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. Keep up the good work. We're glad to uh, you've chosen to be with us. They didn't say much about my debt. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps. How do I get materials? Plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Interesting. Of course, not available in demo, but good to know what uh, where the game is headed in terms of advancing the progression. We have some money now. Um, we can buy another engine. Uh, I didn't mean to leave. Um, we don't, unfortunately, we have just barely not enough to buy the other Thing. So we're going to rest. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible ap apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do you yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. Mayor has something to say. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Okay. Dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Well, we have to go east. Pretty sure that's just the, uh, the other little town across the lake. It's not really a lake. We do have a bit of a bigger spring in our step because of our second engine. What a, d a delivery? Let's see here. There's a small hole, hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. Hands you some money. I was go given this old book a few day weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Sustainable fishing. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. So we have a trader here, packed with antiques, shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. I don't believe we've met. Specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Uh, I don't have any, actually. I still need an eel. So this looks like a uh, material. We don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. We need something special. That looks like something nice. 
21st of Augustine. I don't know how to look at some of this stuff. Sustainable fishing. Selected as an active book. Past, past time to read. Oh, interesting. Um, flounder or eel. Gulf flounder and great eel. I need, to, I need a rod that can handle shallow water. Where's the map? Okay. So, yeah, a lot is not available to us right now. Um, could they tell me maybe where I could find an eel? Aberrations. So there are different versions of every fish. We get a we get a glimpse of what we can expect in this game. Abyssal fish, maybe. Tells us that maybe uh, this game is going for some eldritch vibes. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around a few times, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believed all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat, remaining a uh, renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so su superstitious. Game's got a really cool look about it. I, w I really just want to find some eel. There's some stuff we can collect here if we really want to. But uh, I don't have the right equipment and I'm sure I can't get the right equipment in the demo. No complaints. Alright, let's, let's catch something. Whoa! That's creepy. All-seeing cod. That's a really creepy looking fish. So maybe every fish has like an abyssal, abyssal version? That is a... that is real. that was... Very, like, successful and actually kind of creeping me out. Not a difficult thing, or sorry, not an easy thing to do. Mackerel. I, I, I want to get an eel. Oof, hull damaged. Wasn't paying close enough attention. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get the other hook type. Oh, that looks like eel there. Here we go. Gray eel, nice. We'll catch a bit more for our time and effort. Seems like time is also passing when you're fishing. And we're now in, in night time, so things are going to get a little bit desperate. Okay, yes, I have the, I finally have the eel. Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. 50 bucks, wow. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid in a whole black grouper. I don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. You know that, what nights are like around here. Good luck. You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. This is the sort of specimen to liven up my day, I wonder. He runs his fish fingers firmly along the length of the fish. 
as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices it open. From its stomach he pulls a small piece of fabric and places, spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. A beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish patterned with delicate crimson thread. To the storage. A man is looking at you through the cabin window. His face is mostly in sh shadows. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to sus inspect it, but I'm not here. But not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out at, of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Cool. Um, we've got enough money. We can buy some equipment. Um, wouldn't mind some light. Better than a candle, just. These are better. Makes a decent effort at shining through the gloom. So we have a light. We have a better light. Um, strengthened lines. Strengthened lines can catch larger and deeper fish. Uh, catches shallow. So it actually only catches shallow fish? I thought maybe we could get oceanic. So if it only catches shallow, we may as well replace our old one. And we'll sell the old one. Um, Alright, so we're good. This does shallow, this does coastal. Is there anything else we can get? Pulls a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to you. Correct engine operation. I'm just wondering if I could... Um, I see one of my engines is different from the other. 14kn. This one's only 10kn. So this one's actually... The peculiar engine is actually better than the rusty one. Can we repair my ship? Eh, maybe, but not right now. Okay, well, we'll go out at night just to see kind of what happens. Um, I also want to go to this other place. Selected as an active bo book, so we're reading Sustainable Fishing while we do this. And we have to go to Little Marrow, maybe? Or, oh no, we have to, we've, we have to go south, I believe. So we do have a better light now. We seem to be able to travel without um, getting that eye icon. Let's see what we can learn about that abyssal fish. Ruined mansion. You don't have the handkerchief with you. Oh. Well, I, luckily I can obtain it from my storage. To cargo. Man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curious that occupy the periphery of a desire. You have something for me. Give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will re uh, reward you in ways beyond all imagining. 
You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Dredge cane. What we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. We have a workshop here. Go inside the workshop, it's locked. Okay. We may as well sleep here. Actually, I should have gotten the, uh, the squid while I was out and about. But hey, I think we've got a, um, a crane net. What is this? Oh, this is damage. Uh, what do we got? The encyclopedia is maybe a little bit um, cumbersome. There's a lot of stuff going on. Search for relics. Find the key in the marrows. Find the music box in Gale Cliffs. Okay. So this is maybe um, what I was looking for in terms of, like, story. I'm assuming we can't catch this fish yet. No, we still need oceanic. Um, I do want to see... I want to grab some more stuff. Uh, also want to see, it. Do I, do I have a dredge cane now? Yes, I do. So I can start dredging stuff like this. Oh, okay, different minigame. You have to actually avoid the, the, the things. This is kind of novel, actually. I appreciate that. So we got some lumber. This will be used for improving the boat. Add it to cabin. Got anything cool over here? Yeah, these are actually worth quite a bit, so... Cod. It's quite a bit to explore. Wondering, um... The map said that some of these islands were not available, but okay, this one is. So we could check this one out, just to see what it has to offer. There's some st stuff to dredge as well. Hmm, okay, so there's not much to do here, it's just a rest spot. Um, research part. Oh, nice. If I was playing this game for real, I would be like, yo! We've also, um, completed sustainable fishing. More lumber. It is just about nighttime. Ooh, a ring. Maybe it's just treasure. Maybe it just indicates that there's treasure here. Goblet. Nice. Okay, let's, um, oh, we're, the, the night is actually too dark here, so we have, have to hold out. So let's, let's rest in this spot. I see there's another boat hanging out out there. I definitely saw another boat. I'm wondering if that was something we had to avoid. So I keep flipping the camera. It's actually a little bit um, difficult to control. More stuff. Oops. I have to like reteach my brain every time that the uh, the bars are something you want to avoid. 
pearl earring. These flounders. Oh, these look like eels. Not eels, sorry. Um, I forget what they're called. Stingrays. These take up a lot of room. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let it go. We'll head back. I'm assuming in, a, in the full experience, we wouldn't be able to necessarily use all of our wood and materials so we would like store them and then uh you know over time collect collect materials for upgrading the ship you what's what was that hmm hull damaged the lighthouse tower above waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below all creatures, human or otherwise, would have their biddle bro bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Definitely, I would want to uh, get my ship repaired if I was playing the game legitimately. Okay, fishmonger. Oh, there's more people to talk to. Found a book out back. Could be useful. Rods, reels, and rigs. Um, sell all fish. Not a lot of fish to sell. Uh, there's a builder and a lighthouse keeper. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's peaceful. It's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Back, uh, going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. It's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. If you find me some materials, maybe you could help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Still point just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. Just stack it up at steel point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Nice. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Great Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. If you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. I think I did actually see that. That was like the kind of like Northern Lights-ish kind of thing going on. I do want to repair our ship. Repair all. There we go. Probably something that only happens at nighttime, so I'm gonna head out there and I'm gonna have a look at what that is. And if the demo doesn't end by uh, collecting whatever it is, the first of our items, um, then I will probably end this Let's Try myself. We should uh, select a new book. 10% um, chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with rods. Let's uh, let's select this engine. So we're reading. I kind of like that, like passively learning something as we move. There's some kind of creepy thing underwater. May as well fish while we're waiting. What is that? That looks like something interesting. Shapes in the deep. Relic discovered. Return to the collector. 
It's a very large item I've just collected. There's something else there, too. Ew. Um, well, I kind of want to keep this. Um, I really want to, uh-oh, what is that? Ew. I don't like that. Something over here as well? Stone trembles before you, unknown symbols glow from within. Place your hand on the stone. Sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. The town of Greater, greater Marrow burns. The lighthouse lies collapsed, its light extinguished. A red glow fills the sky behind a clone that drains the world. I guess I lost my fish. That kind of sucks. Oh, these things are really kind of popping up out of nowhere, huh? Um, where, I have to go to Little Marrow. No, I have to go to Blackstone Isle to de deliver that relic. It really does get kind of spooky. And I'm, I'm getting kind of lost. Blackstone Isle. I have to, I have to go west? No, east. I'm uh, I'm I'm getting kind of lost here. Oh, okay. I'm I'm going too south. I have to go like northeast. Something bad is happening. Okay, you enter the collector's home, he's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book, he seems impatient. You have something. You hand him the key, the cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed. S smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated, much further, I suspect. But all the same, they must be found. I never said this would be easy. I suppose we'll see if you have what it takes soon enough. Raise the truth and dredge. Expand your catch with a variety of fishing styles. Acquire powerful abyssal ab abilities. Salvage wrecks to upgrade your own vessel. Brave the dark waters of five unique zones. Cool. Uh, I appreciate that. That was really cool. Um, I like how it developed. I like the the mood of the whole thing. Art style is like honestly stunning. Really, really cool and unique art style. Um, refreshing even. Um, I like the kind of downtime of, of fishing and uh, upgrading your vessel. And I also appreciate like trying to go outside your comfort zone and, and push your uh, resources a little bit so that you can you can get some of those uh, items of, of interest and uh, advance the storyline a little bit. But yeah, Dredge, have you tried it? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much.